Hey guys, welcome to Skipper Surf Review. I'm Yuri Tsudenov and today I'm going to review this new board. Uh, it's a Fomi, hardcore Fomi from Invader Surf. I got this board another while ago because this company uh, is pretty new on the market. They just started. They only have one model which is uh, called Mini Egg and uh, I wanted to see if this board would work the same as my Mini Siemens because they kind of have like a similar outline and um, I can't wait to share my experience with this board with you. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and enjoy this episode. Let's get started. This is 5.4 Mini Egg, has uh, 38 liters of volume and the most volume is concentrated all across the board. And if we look at the deck, it's pretty much flat, has a little bit of low entry rocker and the deck skin is durable. I served this board around 10 times and I didn't get any dings or even scratches. So I think it's built to uh, last long. And if I would compare it to big brands, I'm pretty sure this board will not waterlock as fast as um, other uh, formis out there. So um, if you look at the bottom of the board, it has future fin boxes. Uh, also, it comes with stock fins. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't put trailer fin, uh, fins into the boxes. Uh, maybe I had some defective set. So I had to use Machada quad set. Worked really well. I also tried to surf it as a twin fin, but I noticed it loses control uh, once you get on the wave and start going. And if you make any move, it would uh, go crazy. So. I would definitely suggest going as a quad. The bottom of this board is pretty much flat. I couldn't find any concaves. So this board has a little bit of playing hole experience, but if you're more into it, I would consider something like this. This is a mini Siemens from Hydrodynamica. This board has amazing glide and flow, and more important, the full playing hole experience but it will cost you four times more. So if you're on a budget and wants to just get out and shred and have a lot of fun and not care a lot about glide and flow, then uh, this is something to consider. And you will also have less stress about getting dings. I throw this board on the sand and surf mostly short breaks. And um, yeah, it has a really good durability. I mostly surfed mini egg in one to two foot waves, basically gutless surf uh, from short period swells, and uh, it worked really well. I but I found it challenging to ride in bumpy conditions. So from time to time, it would uh, lose traction and it would throw me off pretty quick. Uh, however, in clean or semi-clean conditions, it worked really well. I didn't have any issues catching waves, uh, especially late drops. I feel like that the tail uh, is uh, holding really nice on top of the wave and it allows me to have a little bit more time to set my rail and I think it's really helpful when you surf short breaks. The board is super responsive. Uh, basically there's just a short delay between transitions and you treat this board as a regular fiberglass in terms of performance. I would recommend this board for intermediate and above level surfers. I found it to be more challenging for uh, entry level surfers because this board uh, requires you to be really quick on your feet. If you are like close to intermediate level, you will be able to catch waves, but riding down the line and do turns, it will be my challenging because this board doesn't forgive those mistakes uh, in terms of uh, maneuverability. Uh, you will be able to turn, but if you make a little bit of a mistake, uh, you're gonna lose control. So I would go with a little bit bigger size if they come up with something different. Uh, as of now, they only have one model, but if they would have maybe a seven or uh, in that range, I think the beginners uh, can really take advantage of that size. So something to consider and um, have fun. That's about it. Thank you guys for watching. If you like my reviews, please subscribe and also feel free to add me on Instagram. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for your support and until next time, goodbye.